Hi there, this lesson is a guide through your automation script management options. Autopilot is a tool for authoring and testing automation scripts. The automation cloud is an option to use when you are ready to execute your script remotely. Here we group various versions of the same script under a service entity. To sign up for automation cloud, follow this link. Now, to create a new script in Autopilot, click the menu button and go to the file New option. Now, let's create a new action in the main context. Let's say a navigate action. Use the get constant pipe and paste the link to our sign up page. Now, to save a script, click the menu button and go to the file Save option. Choose the Your Computer option and click Save. Now let's give it a name. And click Save. Now to open a script, click the menu button and choose the file Open option. Again choose the Your Computer option. And let's open our newly created automation. Now, if we want to create a service, click the menu button and choose the file Save As option. Choose the Automation Cloud, cloud option, Create New Service option, and let's click the Advanced button and add a note. Now, let's click Save. If we check the dashboard, we will see that our service was created. If we click it, we can see various details about it. Now, let's say we want to add something new to the script. Let's say a placeholder action. To save this modification, go to the menu button and choose the file Save As option. Choose the Automation Cloud option and use existing service. Now, with those current options, we choose to patch our script to the 0.02 version. We have different options here. Now, if we choose to make it active, every time we get to run a job from dashboard, the current active script will be played. Let's add some notes. And let's save it. Now let's check the dashboard and we can see that it was created with the active tag. Now if we want to check differences between the second version and the first version, just use the file load as diff base option and choose the first version. We can see that the difference between them is in the main context where the placeholder action was created. Thank you for your attention.